There is a brand new sparkly shiny Dollar Tree and I'm gonna check it out. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. Love to do a Dollar Tree shop with me, especially when I'm looking for things to do for kids activities and of course, all of the new things. There is a new Dollar Tree in town and I'm gonna go check it out. I've never been to a brand new sparkling Dollar Tree before, so this is gonna be an experience. And then I'm also gonna go to the other Dollar Trees to see what's new in those stores, so let's go shop with me. very first time I have ever been in a brand new Dollar Tree was exactly as I would expect it to be. Fully stocked shelves, wall to wall finds. It looked immaculate. In fact, this was so surprising to see. I just feel like I need to put glitter on the screen to show you how magical it was. I didn't have a lot of time to go through every single thing, but I did see that most of the things in this new store I've seen in other stores. So I was on the hunt for things I haven't shown you guys yet, and I was able to find a few things, especially in the holiday sections. They have now put out all of the Easter baskets. I have gone through a lot of the Easter things in previous videos, so make sure to go back if you wanna find some more of the Easter finds. But I just wanna show you some of the baskets they've put out. They have a really good selection, both for Easter egg baskets and also for decor. Some of these are repeats from last year and some of them are brand new styles and designs. And they had a pretty good selection, including those really, really large eggs up there on the top. Easter eggs, you guys. These are brand new this year. These are the larger ones. They come three to a package, but if you get each set, you could have a full rainbow and do some really cool color sorting activities with these. They brought back some of our favorites like these carrots, which are great for themed activities. We have some pastel swirled eggs. They have packages of gold eggs, which are really, really cute. These are a repeat from last year. They have a sea theme, which I know a lot of people use those in sea theme sensory bins. I think these are new this year. These are, they look like peeps and they come in pink and blue blue. Then we also have some that are in the shape of chicks. I don't really remember those from past years. I could be wrong. We have some smaller packages of gold eggs. We always see the sports eggs. These are also a repeat from last year. They're little cars. You could use those after Easter for sure. Little packages of bunnies and then these little camo eggs are also a repeat from last year. They really do have a great selection of a plastic Easter eggs. So if you're in the market, I would check there before any other store. Here's a glimpse of some of their egg dyeing kits they usually have the Dudley brand and these tend to go super fast so if you need this get it now because they won't be there next week we have some Easter cups that have the straw and the lid and a few different pastel colors and each one has a different print on it oh and I forgot to show you these large baskets of plastic eggs great for color sorting too and counting now for the Easter crafts I do see they have added some felt stickers here in the large bunny head shape they also have the large carrots and Easter eggs more pom-pom kits have arrived at the stores since the last time I was in a Dollar Tree. And these have also arrived at the store. They are felt bunny kits where you add on all of the face parts. These are great for toddlers. They come in two different sizes, the extra large and the medium. There was a little chick and bunny. Then we have some paddle boards, which we usually see around this time. Pencils that are Easter themed, all the new stocking stuff for items. These are a win. There's a chick and a bunny. They come pre-filled with soap and they are soap dispensers. I think that's a really fun addition for the holidays. They brought back these, you guys. They are the candy dispensers. These work best for candy that's as small as M&Ms or Skittles. And we have some bunny yarn craft kits. They pre-made the yarn pom-poms for you and you just add on all of the pieces to complete it. It came in two different colors, the white and the pink. These are also back. I actually got one of these last year and used it around Easter. It was pretty decent, you guys. They have a pink and a blue with a little gingham print. And then they have all of the tableware or the party wear in the Easter themes. They usually have the matching plates, but I haven't seen them yet. A few more Easter baskets that were more traditional as I turn the corner. So I want to show you those colors. They actually looked really nice. In the St. Patrick's Day things, the store had pretty much everything that I've seen in other stores, just more of it. We have some St. Patrick's Day themed straws, the kind of crazy straws that are in the swirls, lots of different decor items that are made out of wood with leprechauns and gnomes and rainbows. Speaking of gnomes, they have a lot of those too. Little bubble wands, which are great little party favors. More gnomes along the bottom here and all kinds of different styles. And they even had mini boot shot glasses. These are made out of plastic and they're green, kind of a fun item. Some drink cups here with Irish themes on them too. 
A little bit less on the party wear for the St. Patrick's section right now, but I have a feeling that we might see some more as the weeks go by. But I did find shamrock plates and matching napkins. They did have a huge selection of window cleans. These are kind of fun because you can dress the leprechaun and then they have gnomes, kittens, and just your general rainbows and gold coins. Then they had these things that you can hang from the ceiling that kind of spiral down, which are fun decorations. More gnomes, this one with a yellow beard. These giant felt shamrock we see every year too as well as the garland here that is on a metal wire and you can twist it and shape it some gel cleans and some leprechaun hat banners rainbow banners and of course all of the glitter clovers personal favorite would definitely have to be the rainbow and the pot of gold I just think those are really cute and they're probably gonna sell the fastest if you ask me Speaking of rainbows, we have a rainbow sippy cup with a lid and a straw, some horseshoes, and then here is a lot more of the decor. These scratch art kits, I didn't have much luck with them when I did them in a Dollar Tree toy test, but they do have them back this year. Looks like they come in the black cauldron or in the clover. Some more felt garland and the coins. Now the coins are really great find. Get two packages of them for counting up to 100 and doing math activities with your kids. Craft kits are also great for the kids. They usually come in multiple, so you can make several in one package. Great for a classroom. We love the cauldrons. These are the same ones that we see from Halloween, but this is really the best value on them. They had things for making your own wreaths. And of course, in a true Dollar Tree style, lots of different ribbon. I would have to say the rainbow is my favorite. LED lights, which they have pretty much every single holiday. And then some more decor. St. Patrick's Day themed scarves. It's a great way to add some green if you don't already own something green in your closet. And then St. Patrick's Day socks. These usually come in adult sizes, child sizes, and baby. I have shown you pretty much all of the Valentine's Day things, but there were a couple of new finds. So if you need to score something, definitely go now. I think after this weekend, a lot of Valentine's things will be sold out. These are the fortune cookies, which they bring back every year. And then tons of Valentine's Day cards. These are a little bit more expensive than the ones that you'd get in the back of the store in the card section because they have all of those like fancy things added on to them. A few more Valentine's Day party favors. I found these little like, um, what do you call those? Spinning pinball machine kind of things. We have some kaleidoscopes and then some of these clackers, which never really work. You'll also find some new things for gifting. These are the Bolero body oils, body butter sets. There are three new scents. I believe they kept this by the Valentine's Day stuff in my store, but you might find this in the personal care section of your store. But it's a whole new line that has magic things so you can put together a whole different gift with all of the items and whichever scent that you prefer. They had everything from body wash and bath bombs to body oils. Just a quick few more things from other stores for Easter. I wanted to show you some of the DIY items that I haven't seen in the new store and that would be these little wooden cutouts. These are all paintable items that you can decorate. They even had these wreath forms which they call a wreath rail so I guess it's just instead of a round circle of or some kind of a circular shape you put it through the rails on the bottom very similar to what you would do with a regular reef craft lots of different signage hanging signage that you can paint and decorate i like the flower there with the best that's the circle shape and then some welcome signs also back this year are these little picks with the bunny tails. We have a little hanging bunny here and some little gnome decorations for a Easter tree. These are back too. They're letters that have little bunny tails on them. Look, I even found the C. You would decoupage those, I suppose. Little packages of felt in spring colors. And then they also had the painting kits, which I usually see more of these. I only saw one different style and they brought back the bunny feet. In the Dollar Tree Plus section, there were a few new finds too. We had some banking cups that looked extra, extra fancy, some banners with the gingham print, 
These were all $3. We have the larger wreaths too with the Easter eggs already done. And how cute are these Easter baskets that were in the shape of peeps? They even had Elmo. Isn't Elmo cute? Love Elmo. Mardi Gras is around the corner too. They did have a small section for Mardi Gras, which included some necklaces, masks, and some hats, but the masks look really, really, really good. So if this is something that you celebrate and want to go out with, definitely check Dollar Tree first before heading to the party store. Okay, let's move on to the other sections of the store. I stopped by the office section and I found these. Now I've showed you these before, but it looked like they were back in stock. These are bulletin boards that are covered in felt and two different shapes and two different colors to go along with them. These also had matching desk pencil cups to go along with them in the exact same colors. So if you wanted to do a matching set, definitely look for both of those. They did have some really nice felt containers that were in this charcoal gray. These are super nice and they look very, very expensive. I found these in three different shapes and sizes so you can configure what would work best for your drawer or your desk. Also new are these highlighters here in two different sets. In the toy section, I found some Gabby's Dollhouse. These kinds of things are great to buy now. These would be great Easter basket fillers. They would also be great to put in stockings to save in your closet for later on in the year. They're just really fun items also found some Disney keychains, some My Little Pony surprise bags, and Disney surprise bags too. Giant slinkies were in the Easter basket filler section. Found the plain colors and even a rainbow one. These are huge. These little sets are really fun. You build the character and they had Spider-Man and LOL dolls. More surprise bags. I think around this time of year is when we tend to see a lot more of them that look like mini food. And right next to it, we even had some puppies in my pocket. Lots of new tattoo sets too. On this rack, I found some mermaids under the sea, butterflies, cars, Peppa Pig, and even Transformers. Lots of different finds on this one. My kids love tattoos. One of my kids still loves them and she's 10. Starting to see some of the summer things come out for outdoors, so that's gonna be coming up in some videos soon. A new color forms game. This is two and one on the go game. We saw something that looked like Chinese checkers and regular checkers. And then there was one that was word splash and tic-tac-toe. Might have to do a little Dollar Tree toy test on this one to see if it's worth it or not. Crayola came out with some new sticker activity pads in Monopoly and in Potato Head. You open these up and you have lots of activity pages plus a couple of pages of stickers to use with it, all with the same theme. These are from Crayola, working with Hasbro, so they're really, really nice quality. In the office section, I found some more stickers, but these are like pull apart, so there's actually six little sheets in here. Tear these apart, use them as party favors. And then in the crafting section, I found some new packages of fabric bags. They're burlap bags, they come three to a package. I know people like to use those for crafting. And in the personal care section, lots of new hair accessories. Just definitely had to show you so you can see the selection. The claw clips are all over the place in so many different styles and colors. And a lot of them were name brand too. And then in the garden section, they had a really cute end cap of all things B including things for the garden and outdoors, including some bee gnomes. If you like this video another one is on screen for you to go check out next i will see you over there make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love